problem sometimes though if you guys have ever seen the show say yes to the dress when somebody brings in you know their gay best friend their sister their aunt their mom their mother-in-law you know you have those problems when you have a, your entire peanut gallery there and you get a difference of opinion so we're actually quite good at troubleshooting that as well mm -hmm. uh, we do recommend for our clients to only bring two key people to the actual appointment themselves uh, two trusted opinions and then we really want to make sure that we listen because there are some clients that we have that get overpowered by yeah. um, friends and family um, they might be a little bit more meek and it's our job to make sure that it's not somebody else's vision that we're executing mm -hmm. it's actually theirs themselves because at the end of the day we're hired help we're there even if we don't agree with the look we're there to execute the look our job is to deliver our clients needs our client needs are our needs that's yeah. at the end of the day that's pink orchid studio motto that's the bottom line so whenever they bring too many people we always try to kind of pull the bride aside and let let her know like five years from now ten years from now you're gonna look at your wedding album are you gonna be happy with this look because your sister said you know to go this way or your mother said she likes this hairstyle or this particular look are you gonna be happy with this look and if the answer is no let's do what you want to see in five years it has to be a timeless look it just can't be something that's trending today mm -hmm. but you also have to be diplomatic as well so if there is if you know as stylists it's our job we've mm -hmm. been doing this a long time if we really honestly feel that something is not going to suit one of our clients then it, it can be um, it's all in your delivery I think as an artist yes. to give them an option and at the end of the day they still get to choose um, a lot of makeup artists and hair artists I feel like they get a really bad reputation that they only do what they want this is a huge or, complaint across the industry what, what their portfolio is missing yes yeah, exactly. So they'll say, okay, this trend's coming up, I'm going to do this on my next bride. I'm not really listening to what my bride wants and what's good for her features. So I think, um, you know, being that your communication skills obviously have to be very important. You have to be very diplomatic if a client feels like she has a big forehead. If she volunteers that information to you and she says, I want a hairstyle that's going to, min you know, I feel like my forehead's too big. We're never going to gonna say, it. we're never going to say, okay, oh yeah, you're right. No, like we no. don't think that. We'll, we'll say, okay, if that's something that concerns you, here are some options that we can do with a hairstyle mm -hmm. in order to kind of address that issue. But I think you're beautiful. So yeah. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of language that we want to teach you guys as well as the actual execution of the mm -hmm. hair and makeup mm -hmm. that you have to make, your sh make sure that your clients feel amazing. This is one of the most important days of their life that you're being booked for they um, trusted you yes yeah on this important day so it's really your job to make them feel like they're at ease and in good hands and get the job done and it's not just about hair and makeup it's about the overall client